Till you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. Well, yes, I suppose I am. Dr. Weston Lesko's my name, and it's good to make your acquaintance. What brings you to my little experimental ecosystem? I've chosen this room as a temporary retreat from which to contemplate my erroneous figures for my experiments. It may be a bit dark and damp, but such annoyances will not stand in the way of science! Ah. My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain... Oh wait! I'm a scientist! How marvelous! My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth-induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous! Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get near my equipment. I'm shocked. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, Fuck I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Uh. Oh, no, no, no. The Queen mustn't be harmed at all. Months of work would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Ooh, filthy little abominations. Huh. I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland.
playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Hello. Ah, there we go. I seem to hurt the ants. I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Uh, just aim for their antennae, if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. Garden variety giant ant. The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. Huh. He had no regard for the importance of my work. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. Look at this. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Yeah. Oh my, yes, they're quite marvelous. There are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. Science. Well, um, I may have used a few, uh, <clears throat> shortcuts, yes. I was told that the FEV works wonders when used under controlled circumstances. Apparently I was wrong, but I know my mistake. I'm certain I can get it to work. By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no, you no, mustn't no, no. do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. Really? Yep. Yeah. Much. And we go. Forward.
Got it. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Oh, how marvelous! Please, tell me what happened. You utter buffoon! You've set my work back months, perhaps even years! Destroying That's the fun. mutagen was not part of what we discussed! Now, if you'll excuse me... Spoken like a true disciple of science, I will restart my calculations from the beginning and learn to crawl before I try to run. I suppose I shouldn't be angered by your actions. Forgive my impertinence. How marvelous! Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? How marvelous! Ant might it is! Hold still, please. Huh. Yes, what did you need? You should take him away from this place. You can find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. All scientists take responsibility. Yeah. Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. Okay. Be ever vigilant.